Someone we have to talk about, it's Raheem Mostert of the 49ers. They're playing the Cardinals this week. He wasn't on my radar before, Frank, but why should he be? Yeah, he definitely should be on your radar now, just based on what he's done the past couple of weeks and the fact that Matt Breida is banged up once again for this team. Matt Breida, I mean, the talent is there for the kid, but he just cannot stay healthy. Uh, looks like he's going to continue to battle these lower leg injuries. But with that comes opportunity for Raheem Mostert. 146 rushing yards over his last two games on just 19 carries. That's 7.7 yards per carry. This past week in Week 7, played a season-high 38% of the snaps. This also comes one week after, you know, in week six, uh, Kyle Shanahan came out and said that, you know, Mostert isn't necessarily going to be a thing right away, but with the injury to Brita, they don't really have a choice. And the fact that he has been as efficient as he has, I just don't really know what this team has left in Alfred Morris, an older running back. You kind of know who he is. I think this is just give Raheem Mostert a chance here and see what they have. I mean, he's been very efficient over the past two games. And you look at the upcoming schedule, it is great. Going up against the Cardinals, the Raiders, the Giants, and the Bucks, the next four games. So, I'm saying that there's a chance here. There's definitely a chance that Mostert takes over from Alfred Morris and takes advantage of these great matchups. He's not as high as the Raiders running backs in terms of the waiver wire pecking order, but he is the next man up. And I think there's upside based on this, these matchups, Maria. The great matchups are the key. And then, of course, as you mentioned with Matt Breida, seemed to have rushed back from that ankle injury, and you just can't expect him to play. That gives the opportunity to Mostert, or as the fantasy BFFs on Fantasy Sports Network like to call him, Mozart.